Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to viewers joining us live and exclusive on Sky Sports Friday Fight Night at the York Hall here in Bethnal Green. Tonight we begin with your main event. Please welcome to the ring your challenger, Stephen Bender. Well, Stephen Bendel's been around this business for 11 years as a professional. He's had three major fights in his career, and he's lost a lot of them. As he says, this is the last chance at the age of 34. But he's an honorable fighter. He's paid his dues in this business, and there'll be a lot of people, I think, neutrals, rooting for him tonight, thinking he's a deserving case. Yes, there certainly will. He has paid his dues and he's here with nothing to lose, everything to gain. That puts him in a strong position. You know, he said that nerves have bothered him in the past, and you know, he's been sacked out of fights. Here he's got nothing to lose, everything to gain. He'd go in there, relax, and put in his very best performance. And I think that's all he can hope to do. He's had nearly twice as many fights as Darren Barker, and he's nine years older. Says he's sparred for this fight more than for any other fight in his career. And now, fight fans, please welcome to the ring your champion, Darren Barker. Big support, this is a home from home for Darren Barker, who fights officially out of Barnet. And every time he goes to the ring, he fights too for the memory of his brother, who was tragically killed in a car crash. After that, Barker spent nearly a year out of the ring, but he's come back to some effect, winning the Commonwealth title that he defends tonight in his second fight after that absence making his first defense of it tonight. And he's one of those fighters who seems to be getting better and better. Yeah, he's certainly growing in confidence. And I think his, his last big win when he won the Commonwealth title will really have furthered that. And I think, you know, he could look for his best performance here. It's certainly going to be his toughest fight. But he really needs to be on for focus and then pull off a big win. It's a classic matchup, really, this. Across the generations as well. Barker, the up-and-cover, Bendel, last chance saloon. As you can see, he's much older. Barker well inside the weight, 11 stone, four and a half, 11 six, of course, is the middleweight limit. Reach advantage two for Darren Barker, the younger man. Bendel, a pro for 11 years now. Barker for just the last three and a half. More experience for Bendel, but Barker's fresher. The officials appointed for this contest by the British Boxing Board of Control in association with the Commonwealth Council, your steward in charge, Dave Wilson, the timekeeper, Peter McCann, the Commonwealth representative, Robert Smith, your judges at ringside are Ian John Lewis of Gillingham, Terry O'Connor of Birmingham, and Dave Paris of Edmonton. At the bell, the third man in the ring will be Richie Davies of All Hallows in Kent. And now, Fight Fans, live and exclusive on Sky Sports, Friday Fight Night, Mick Hennessy and Hennessy Sports, in association with proud sponsors, GoldenPalace.net, the Casino at the Empire, LEA Printers, Lifestyles, proudly present your main event, 12 three-minute rounds of boxing for the middleweight championship of the Commonwealth. Introducing to you first in the blue corner, your challenger, wearing these sky blue trunks. He fights out of commentary and weighs in at 11 stone, five and three quarter pounds. He brings to the ring tonight a 31 fight professional record, 28 wins, 15 wins coming by way of knockout against only three defeats. He is a former British and European title challenger. Please welcome Steve Bender. to his opponent in the red corner, wearing these silver trunks, fighting out of Barnet. He weighs it at 11 stone, four and one half pounds. 
Tonight, he enters the ring with an unbeaten professional record. 16 fights, 16 wins, 10 wins coming by way of knockout. As an amateur, he was the 2002 Commonwealth Games gold medalist. And he comes to the ring tonight as your reigning Commonwealth middleweight champion. Please welcome Dazzling Darren Barker. This is 12 three minute rounds, boxers please. Richie Davis, the experienced okay, referee. Okay, fellas, you've both had your instructions in the dressing room. You know what I expect of you. Behave yourselves, do as you're told, and above all, defend yourselves at all times. Shake hands. And it's good to see Richie's wife, who's been very ill, fit enough to be at ringside tonight. We wish her a continued recovery. Now, Darren Barker, unbeaten in 16 so far he's enjoying the limelight he says far from being complacent he thinks he's grown from being a champion loves seeing his name on the top of the posters the posters that he used to put up on his bedroom wall growing up in the silver trunks darren barker a prohibitive odds on favorite for this and straight away he's got bendel on the floor in the opening quarter of a minute of the fight oh my goodness me Bendel just caught cold by that the first time Barker had thrown. Barker looking short with that right hand against the south for Bendel. He's finding him pretty easy to hit early on. It's a terrible start for Steve Bendel, who says and acknowledges himself. He's had a bit of a mental block before on big nights. He's employed a sports therapist. Tony Summers in the build-up to this fight to try to get himself right. Well, that certainly wouldn't have helped on the floor very early in this one. Will that knockdown send the old mental demons back into play here? It's a great start, that, for Barker. Looks to unload again with the right hand. Won this title against the tough Australian Ben Crampton on points. And knocked down officially time at 21 seconds into the fight. Well, he's a talented technical boxer, Barker. And already he's thudded up the, the south four stance of Bendel. And he's getting through with good right hands. Marcus Dunton sparring with South for Tony Salem. We get a hard 12-round session as well with one of our top super middleweights, Carl Frosch, who's on the verge of very big things. A work like that would have certainly stood him in good stead and made him very, very short. Good to the body, Barker. Watch for that in this fight. Bender will be looking to box on the counter. Can he settle into the fight after that nightmare start, though? Again, it's the right hand that lands to the chin of Bendel. Just the right hand from Steve Bendel. He was quite well schooled and well respected in the business. He seems to have been the British top ten middleweights forever, doesn't he? Without ever quite breaking through to a decent championship level. He's held the English title, but that's not the same as holding the British or even this one, the Commonwealth title. Yes, it's normally just come apart for Ben as he stepped up a level. Well, let's have a look at this again from the very start of the fight. Unless it was first round. As things happen quickly, Glenn. Yeah, it's very quickly. He just settles in straight away, looking for his right hand, probing jab. Little left hit there. There's a quick right hand, just a short little right. But it was enough. Yeah, the left caught, then the left too. And it was the right hand. Just a little flurry of punch. I don't think he was badly hurt, but certainly stunk. 
on, Stephen. Relax. Beautiful, Stephen. They seem to be having to work on him psychologically, don't they, Bendor? Second round. Strange, really, for a fighter who's been around the business for as long as 11 years, that he doesn't quite believe in himself on the big, big nights. Stopped by Scott Dan in a British title fight in six, Sebastian Sylvester, European title in three, and Wayne Alcock when he lost his English title in eight rounds. He took a bit of a beating in the end that night, Bendel. It's just a question of how much he has left at this stage of the game. He's had three wins in more modest company on his way into this one. Well, he started this on just trying to do a little more work. Bendel landed with the, the left hand there. It's looking a little open, though. Yes, he's standing square on. And I think that might suit Darren Barker if he can get that right hand on again. Barker, who sees this title as a stepping stone to bigger things. And that should be the way he's thinking at 25 years of age as well. And again, he just catches Bendor with his defence wanting. Yeah, good clean shots there from Varga. Bendel coming back with the right hand. But his legs are looking a little wooden when he's hit, hit with shots. Bendel, I think he's, he's just a little bit tense at the moment. Hasn't relaxed. He needs to find his way into the fight, but the danger for him is the fight's over before he ever does get into it. Still a decent record he's got, though. 28 wins, three defeats, Bendel. But Barker yet to taste any loss. His dad was the ABA light flyweight champion 28 years ago and beat one of the amateur legends of that era, John Lyon, in the final. Defensively working well, Barker is landing with his punches and then little slips to the side, enough to avoid Bendel's counters. That's better from Bendel, getting his right hand into play. Darren Barker, though. Yeah, Barker looks switched on, doesn't he? Concentration looks good. But then he'll go through with a nice left hand. He's just beginning to loosen up a little, Bendel. But the fighter with the self-belief is Barker, and there's another crunching right hand from him there. And he finds another one. Too many gaps in the Bendel defence so far. Barker corner with trainer Tony Sims. Yeah. Yeah, just slipping the jab from Bendel. He did that well, Barker, and coming back with the right hand. He looks sharper, he looks looser. And so far, he's getting every shot on at the minute, Darren Barker. Barker, the defending Commonwealth middleweight champion in the silver trunks. Bendel in the sky blue of his native Coventry, though he's based at Poole Dorset. And two more heavy shots come in there from Barker, who's accurate and confident. And Bendel at the moment just needs to tighten up, doesn't he, Glenn? He certainly does. It's a little fragile, Bendel, when those shots come in. Looking very cool, very calculated, Darren Barker. This is a good performance, missing with very little. Looking quite rounded at this stage of the game. This is the kind of fight he has to be winning. He does believe, as you heard in that report from Ed Robinson before the fight, that he can be a world champion one day. Good right hand. Yeah, the left hook lined that punch up perfectly. He's finding a lot of gaps to exploit Barker here. The love a cut landing from Bendel in close. Again, combination punching. 
defend all the products of the Triumph Amateur Boxing Club, which produced Errol Christie, one of the best amateurs we've seen over the last 20, 30 years. Unfortunately for Errol, it didn't quite work out for him in the pros. He's doing some great work with the kids these days. Just needs to keep going through the gears, just stepping up a little bit more. Barker can't really allow Bendel into this fight after such a, a good start. Bendel not able to establish his right lead in the way that he might want in this fight. I knew part of his plan was to look for counter shots. There's such a the quality of the combinations coming from Barker that that hasn't really got going yet as a strategy. The problem for Bentley, and he's got to start moving his head. He's very upright, catching them shots straight down the middle. You know, he can't keep taking those. He's been hit a lot, too much. And on the floor after 21 seconds. Yes, Bendel hasn't relaxed. I think that's the problem. Very straight straight up and down and getting caught with the, the left right good uppercut inside from Barker another right hand comes through it's all Barker early on in this one they got problems in that Steve Bendel corner that's for certain How much you want Steve yeah he hasn't loosened up he's getting caught with too many punches he needs to get away and needs to start throwing some punches back himself. Two fighters with boxing in the blood through the family. As I was telling you, Barker's dad was an ABA champion. Steve Bendel's grandfather was a noted coach at the Triumph Amateur Boxing Club and was uh, connected with the England amateur team as well. Barger should be now starting to look to put combinations together. Good double shots, the left hook and the right hand. That's worked from well, but now he needs to just up it a little bit, throwing a, a few more. That good quality sparring with Carl Froch can only have done Barker good as well, you'd think. And I think Froch has got plenty of respect for Barker's ability as well, from what I've heard. So far, he's looking very, very sharp. Barker, he looks as if he's improving with every fight. As you said, not much head movement from Bendel. That's costing him. Barker's not missing with much, put it that way. Now, Bendel has to try and take the fight to Barker, try and upset the rhythm of Barker. Left hook, Barker again. It's just not superior in every phase of it so far. Tighter defense, faster punches, sharper shots. Looks like he's got a, an edge in power as well, everything we've seen so far. But let's see what happens here. He's got 15 KOs to his credit, Ben. Also, he punch a little bit. He needs to find one of those good punches. Time and time again, the, the jab is rocking the head back of Ben. As he tries to lift himself with a little flurry. He just needs to move up to another level, Ben. And you do get the feeling, too, that he has to overcome this mental block. Yeah, he needs to get a bit of confidence in there. With a good right hand. And that sent Bendor reeling slightly. Lifts himself a little open, needs to get those gloves up, cover up. 
a lot of belief about Darren Barker. His training's been spot on from everything we've heard. It's shown in the ring. Who can establish the jab? Check this out. Darren Barker, 34 jabs landed to Bendel's six. That tells a tale, Glenn. Yeah, certainly does. And the pleading with Bendel in his corner to do more work. He just can't get the shots off. And I think that's really because Barker is not allowing him to. He's always got an answer. This is round five. Barker, who believes he'll be able to mix with the guys at the top of the British middleweight rankings at the moment. People like Wayne Alcott, Howard Eastman, Gary Lockett, Darren McDermott, Paul Smith, Matthew Macklin. Those would all be good fights for Barker. He's got to win this one first, mind, but I think so far he's won every round. He has on my card anyway. Yeah, certainly has on mine, winning them in a little bit of a, a candor as well. Not really been pushed in any department, Barker. Commonwealth Games gold medalist. He was too in the amateurs. Barker winning his gold medal in Manchester. Well, it's hard to criticise his last fight against Ben Cram when he won this title. But I think, if anything, he could have just stepped up the pace a little bit. One round became a little like the next, the last. And, and you know, he, he needs to change that in this fight. He needs to put on a bit more of a show. He's the champion now. Now, some people criticised him for not putting Crampton away that night. Yep, I think if he put more of an effort in, he could have done that, and it would have been a, a real show closer. And I think he can do that here, but he, he needs to look like a champion. But he's a nice fighter and a decent level-headed guy to talk to as well. He's got his head screwed on right about the business. No fancy ideas. Good right hand lands again from in there. He's lining up Bendel, it's a big right hand, he's sagging here. Bendel trapped on the ropes, needs to hold on, buy some time, do anything. But he was caught there by a crunching right hand. Yeah, that was a good four punch combination from Darren Barger. I think a bit more of that again and he'll get this job done with. Bendel doesn't seem to have an answer. No sign of it yet anyway. and tight himself defensively and that's been one of the differences as well left hook can't miss the man from Coventry at the moment now he's right in front of Barger he's not missing he's not blocking the punches he's taking too many sooner or later you think he's gonna wilt do feel for Steve Bendel he's an honorable fighter nice guy you want nice things to happen to him, but uh, sport and sentiment are often strangers, I'm afraid. And this is a hard night for him again here at uh, Commonwealth Championship level. Another round for Barker. And I must say, I wondered in that round whether Barker was going to finish the job off. saw there that uh, Father Terry, who remembers all too well what it's like in the ring from his days as a star amateur. There's the legs just quivering a little bit from that right hand. And he knew it. Barger starts to pick it up. Good combination going in. That was better. Four-punch combination. And all Bendel can do is try to fall in. Barger doesn't let him. Keeps the punches going in. It was interesting, Richie Davis just had a little look over to the Bendel corner at the end of that round, just checking that uh, he's all right after taking a bit of a shellacking in that last session. Six round this. Good jab, good right hand. Bendel needs to do something to just dent 
Barker's confidence in some way, make him think, break his rhythm. He hasn't been able to do that so far. The, pro yeah, the, pro the problem is he hasn't had the confidence to try it. You know, he's been sort of punished for, for attempting to do anything. Barker, so technically good, so sharp tonight, is punishing him for every mistake. He might just have to really gamble in an attempt to try to turn this around because what he's doing so far isn't working and now the right hand allows it. just keeping that uh, left glove a little lower he's a bit open to that right hand come on you're in the corner with bendel what are you going to tell him well you know he's running out of time he's got to really start attacking he's got to start throwing punches that's his only way. He's not going to outbox Barber. He's got to try and outfight him. Basically, go for a bit of a tear up with him. He has to. I think that's his only way. Trying to take him out of his rhythm. Trying to hurt him. Make Barber think about defense. On the back foot again, Bendel. So the tactic of looking for counter punches. Hasn't worked at all. Hasn't been able to do that. No, he can't do that. He hasn't got the ability to do that against Barger, who's far too sharp. Can Bendel at some point put Barker onto the back foot? Can he drive him back across the ring? He's a better self for jab from Bendel, but he then has to take out a right hand. A good sharp left from Bendel there, but he needs more of that. He needs to sustain the assault. You see, I think Barker's just enjoying the pace as well, isn't he? Of this, he's setting it. Yep, Bendel isn't putting Barker out of his comfort zone, so he can pretty much box it the pace he wants to lift it when he wants to. There have been signs of an improvement from Bendel, though, in this round. This has been a better round for him, probably his best yet. And there's a good combination, four punches at the end of the round from Bendel. Want to look forward to Big Five Special, first heavyweight unification fight for nearly a decade. Vladimir Klitschko faces Sultan Ibrahimov. We're live from Madison Square Garden, early hours of Sunday morning. 1.30 Sky Sports 1 with the replays at 9am Sunday on Sky Sports 3 and again at 1pm Sky Sports 3. Yeah, thanks Dave, definitely a fight worth catching that. Back live in the ring here at the York Hall, Bethnal Green in the East End of London tonight. Darren Barker dominating Coventry Steve Bendel in defence of his Commonwealth middleweight crown. The title previously held by Nigel Benn, Michael Watson, Tony Simpson, Dick Tiger, Randy Turpin, fighters like that, just a bit of pedigree. They liked Spendel's work, the cornermen, in that last round. Yeah, he tried to assert himself a little bit more, certainly got more punches off. Barga still did more and won the round, but Bendel just started to get in it a little bit. Take over, Steve. It's just Come like on. he's and warmed up and loosened up a little, isn't it? He's a little more fluid, Bendel now. Not thinking about it all so much, maybe. Yeah, he's just come alive a little bit, hasn't he? The pep talk in the corner might have worked for a while. That last round was the most even one so far. Bendel had some moments. There's a bit of blood around there somewhere. Just some uh, blood around the bottom of the right eye, is it, of Bendel? Yep. We'll try to get a closer look at that. Where's that coming from? No, there's... Oh, there is quite a bit of blood around that right eye. Uh, Richard Davis wants to look at it, the referee. He's satisfied it's not too serious at the moment. It's in a bad place. That's not going to help Bendel anymore is it he's got enough problems to deal with with the shot punching from Darren Barger 
think it was a clash of heads. Good combination from the champ. And he stopped the fight with the cut very bad as well. It's all over. Darren Barker has retained his Commonwealth Middleweight Championship. The end came suddenly, and that cut was a big factor, I think, in Richie Davis's decision. It's a very bad one. It's a very bad one. And again, you do feel so sorry for Steve Bendel. Another big night, and it hasn't worked out for him. And that surely was his last chance to win one of the major titles. Yeah, that cut. It went bad very, very quickly, didn't it? There's when it happened, a clash of heads added to the, the problems of Steve Bendel, but it was all going wrong for him. He wasn't getting the shots off. It was a bit of a painful lesson, really, dished out by Darren Barger. Well, there's no doubt who was winning the fight very, very clearly indeed. That was Barker, but an unfortunate end, really, that it came through a clash of heads and it came at just to the point where Bendor was starting to, uh, to do a little better, only a little better in he the was, fight. He was loosening up a little bit, but I think Barker you know, was well on course for a, a pretty good, decisive victory. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time, one minute and 54 seconds of the seventh round. Bendor having severe, suffered a severely cut eye, your winner and still middleweight champion of the Commonwealth, Dazzling Darren Barker. A successful first defense, did that all go perfectly to plan? I'd say so, yeah. Um, Never ever overlooked Stephen Bender whatsoever. You know, quality opponent. He's proved it in the past with the opposition he's been in with, and, and he was a he was a, a stiff test, you know, for me. And it was a, it was a matter of boxing smartly. I'm learning all the time, and I think that was a good performance, you know, at this stage of my career. Explosive start. I know you were looking for a big punch again yeah. to finish it. A bit frustrated it finished on the cut. A little bit, to be honest. I was enjoying the fight. You know, Steve was in there from the first bell to when it got stopped. You know, he was always in there, but. That, that's why I'm boxing, to test my skills against opponents like that. And, you know, it, it was stopped to the cut, but that's boxing, you know, it could have been the other way around, you know. Do you feel you've grown as a fighter since winning the title? Definitely, you know, I'm learning all the time, every day in the gym with Tony. And that, this is what, what boxing's about, you know, sport in general and anything you do in life is about learning all the time, and I am. Do you want the British champion, Wayne Elcock? Yeah, you, you know, I've got all, my, all the faith in the world in, in McKennessy, uh, and whatever fights he gets me and win, uh, you know, I, I trust him totally. Well done tonight. Thank you very much.